Hello, hello, my friends. Amy R. here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Welcome back to my face and my card making space. And yeah, Simon Says Stamps January 2024 card kit just got here. And I'm going to unbox it, make some things. We'll see. Uh, as always, disclaimer, the card kits are sent to me. I don't have to do the unboxings, any of this. I just choose to because they're fun. <laughs> they're fun. And the January kits are always, uh, they're my favorite generally, but then at the same time, the kits are always a favorite. I like the kits. They're fun. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of what's in this kit already because it came out more than a week ago already. So yeah, I, I, I love it. But we'll flip the camera around. I'll show you guys the things and then we'll make some cards. Um, as always, I will have links below the video to the kit, the subscription option, uh, everything individually, and then whatever else I add on to make some cards. And we'll just go from there. So switch the camera over, add me to it in my fabulous non one click thing, because I still haven't figured out how to do this, but it's what it is. Anyway. Okay. Let's get into the kit. Let me get some things out of the way about that. So this is the Don't Flurry, Be Happy kit. And we got all sorts of fun things. We have a little sucker as always. This is apple pie. Apple pie flavored. Hmm interesting anyway <laughs> you always get candy in the kit the main the main focus is the six by eight stamp set this is the don't flurry be happy stamp set can you guys tell why i said this kit's a favorite can you ever go wrong with snowflakes no but also i just love the style of these i like this is one big stamp oh back mm, backgrounds and then there's like a circular one and then we got some sentiments and a bunch of individual flakes and little like starbursts and things too, which I really like. And then, yeah, there's snow one like you. Snow much thanks, love. You know, don't flurry. I think mean, that's cute. Just cute. I really like it. There is a coordinating wafer die set. Not in the kit. It is separate. I'll have a link to it as well. Although a set like this for the most part you don't really need the wafer dies. Like, yeah, it's nice having ones for like the sentiments and stuff, but yeah. So you get a stamp set. There's this embossing folder. This is the Cheery Snowflakes embossing folder. Already love it. I love Simon's 3D embossing folders. I use them in like practically all the time. And this is just, this is just pretty. Like just a pretty generic snowflake background type one. And I like it. I like it. So you get that. And then there is a little die set in here of snowflakes. This is the Harmony Snowflake. Yeah, Harmony Snowflakes die set. So you get three snowflake wafer dies. And they're just cute and pretty too. They'll go really nicely with, with these. So you get a die set. There is some little embellishment stickers. These are the Rainbow Splash. It says Droplet. Droplet sticker assortment. Yeah, they're like kind of, I don't want to say opaque, but they're kind of cloudy, cloudy, clear ones, and then iridescent sort of bubbly type ones. So you get embellishments. There is some holographic, Simon's holographic cardstock, which is super fun to die cut from. That's what I do most of the time. You can also use this in um, embossing folders and that too. So you get the cardstock and then you also get an envelope. I like, I like these holographic envelopes. I use them with mailing labels or you can write on these with like a Sharpie. But yeah, I find that mailing labels seem to work the best to really um, make sure they get through the mail. So you get one of those and then the pattern paper, which is also really pretty. The pattern paper is Paper Rose Enchanting Christmas Basics. Just, yeah, like scenery type papers and then just nice little patterns. Oh, the 
purples, of course. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> Ooh, I like the purple wood grain. These are just just pretty. Really. Little, these ones are little gnomes. Aww. I would like those much bigger, please and thank you. They're so small. And then, yeah. So, yeah, just really pretty pattern papers. Yeah. Matte silver cardstock. This also. Love it for die cutting, embossing folders, etc. And then we've got um, cornflower blue, lavender, and Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. You also get a full size Simon Says Stamp clear embossing ink pad. I always like these. This is how I've built up, you know, backups and whatnot over the years. This is the clear embossing ink that I use all the time. And then you'll also get a Ranger um, embossing glaze. The color will vary. This one is Seedless Preserves. And if you've never used the embossing glaze, it's embossing powder, but it's called a glaze because it's partly, it's transparent, you know? So it's in the distress colors, but it's transparent. So it's not like solid colors. You can still see what it's on, what's underneath it, etc. So that's really fun. So that is the kit in a nutshell. I have no idea at this moment while I'm filming what I'm going to make. Literally, no idea. Probably gonna be using this right here though. I wanna like, we could do some clean and simple cards with this, really. We totally could. But anyway, keep watching and I will show you guys what I make. So I did go with that large cluster of snowflakes image because it's fabulous. <laughs> And I did pretty much go clean and simple. So I took a uh, white cardstock. You could use the cardstock comes in the kit. I'm using Simon Says Stamps Smooth White Cardstock because that's just my go-to. And I'd cut a sheet in half and then scored both of them. So I've got two A2 card bases here. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I lined them up in my Misty and I lined up that large stamp. And that stamp, the way it's designed, you could actually stamp it um, twice and cover an entire background. Like it's just kind of, that's why it's shaped the way it is to fit together. I'll have to do that on um, a future project because I was like, ooh, this would make, yeah, a really just pretty like full background. But Instead, I just stamped it on kind of the lower portion of these card fronts and I'd use my anti-static powder tool that just keeps the embossing powder from clinging to anything but the stamped image. And then I stamped the image with that clear embossing ink and then coating it with the Seedless Preserves um, Distress Embossing Glaze. So since this is being stamped onto just white cardstock, you're basically getting like the true color of the embossing glaze. Because like I said, when I was um, unboxing the kit, embossing glazes are somewhat transparent. So if I was to stamp this on top of like darker cardstock or other colors, you would see those kind of through the embossing glaze. So doing it on white cardstock, you kind of get like the, the true seedless preserves color or whatever color um, you get in the kit because this would work with just about, you know, any color really. So after I did that with both of these card fronts, let my heat tool warm up for a few seconds and then melted this with the heat tool until everything is smooth and shiny and melted. And honestly, you could leave it at this. You totally could. Like, it's just, it's just pretty. <laughs> You know, you don't even need to add really anything else other you can, you know, pop on a sentiment and call it a day. But I wanted to add, you know, some ink blending and all that. So after I did that, I just flipped the cards over. So now this is the inside of the card because it's like everything's already lined up. Well, this will get the inside done. And I stamped the snowflake image with um, Simon's Petunia Positively Saturating. So this was part of the new or the newest uh, purple trio and they're like very muted sort of dusty purple colors so that's the lightest shade and that's all I'm doing on the inside is just stamping this because um, didn't see the need to add any other sentiments anything like that and this is also another one of those things where I will just write right over it so stamp that onto the inside of both of these cards and then I just use some scrap paper on my work surface to do my ink blending because these are uh, one layer cards. You know, when I'm working on a panel that I'm going to adhere, you know, to other things, etc, etc. 
I don't worry about it, you know, because I don't care what I got on the back of it. It, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. It's getting adhered. But when I'm doing ink blending on something that um, isn't getting attached to anything else. So, you know, you'll the minute, the minute you open the card, you know, you flip that over. So by using some scratch paper, this just prevents me from getting, you know, smears and fingerprints of ink <laughs> onto the other side of this cardstock. So for the ink blending, I use that Petunia ink and then the other two shades, which are Pansy and Aster. I started with the lightest shade, which was the Petunia and a blending brush. And I just started at the, what will be the bottom edge of the card. So right now it's basically the, the right hand side. I started the ink there and I just, you know, blended it and then lightened my pressure and wasn't, you know, adding any more ink with the lightest shade. So it just kind of fades to white. And then I go in with the medium shade, which was the pansy, and I apply that only about, you know, halfway up the, the stamped and heat embossed image. And because those snowflakes were heat embossed, all of this resists the ink I'm adding. And these inks will dry back, like they look quite dark right now, but they will soften and smooth and dry back quite a bit. And then the, the snowflakes will pop just, just a little bit more. So went in like pansy was my medium shade the, that darkest shade was the aster and i only brought that in just a little bit and then for my sentiments i grabbed just another piece of the same white cardstock and i'm going to stamp one of the sentiments from the set with the medium shade of those that ink trio so the pansy ink so i'm going to stamp it rotate the cardstock stamp it a second time i did let this dry and actually off camera i did hit it with my heat tool just to make sure it was dry because um, the positively saturated inks, they they dry fairly quickly, but I want to heat emboss like right over this. So I wanted to make sure. So I hit it with my heat tool. Then I use my anti-static powder tool. Then I put this back into my Misty. And then I lined up the thanks script. And then that I'm going to stamp with clear embossing ink. And once I've got that stamped, I'm going to rotate it do that again and then these I'm going to cover with Simon's silver embossing powder so it'll just kind of give it a little extra something you could totally use the the embossing glaze that would work too but I wanted to bring in a touch of silver because I decided I was going to use the silver matte cardstock as well so coated the uh, script sentiment with that going to melt that with my heat tool as well and then I just used a circle wafer die to die cut out both of these sentiments and then um I decided I had to add splatter <laughs> because of course I did so I used a bit of easy C tape just to tape my card bases closed because again I'm doing you know single layer cards don't want to get splatter where I don't want it so I'm taping the card bases closed and then for my actual splatter I'm using this this is cure talky they're called drop of shimmer I've actually had these for a very long time probably over a year I can't even remember I ordered these forever ago I've just had them sitting on display <laughs> don't ask me why I whatever um there's three different shades there's silver there's gold and there's one called glitter these are technically meant like they were designed to be mixed in with liquids you use for like calligraphy that sort of thing that's what these are meant for so they come with this little dropper and a little um, mixing spoon because you want to make sure everything's like mixed up. I made sure it was mixed up, you know, swirled it. I'm not going to use the dropper. I don't need it. But that's what it's intended for is to mix in with liquids like that and to do, to, to add shimmer and, and metallic looks to your calligraphy inks. I don't do calligraphy, so obviously I'm not going to use it that way. But I got them because I was like, these would probably make really pretty splatter. They do. <laughs> so I'm using the silver one. I made sure it was mixed up. I put, you know, what was left on this little, this little mixing palette that comes with it or this little mixing spoon, basically. And then I just ended up just dipping my brush into the um, container and then splattering this onto both these backgrounds. And yeah, it's really pretty. Now, do you specifically need these? No, like if you have the Cure Talkie, um, the Gonzai Tombi starry colors little palette that I've shown a bajillion times the the lightest one that I think they call like white gold or whatever is very similar but this stuff is pretty like don't get me wrong it's pretty like I like it so and it didn't absorb the color I kind of assumed it would like that it would absorb the purple ink you know and just tint it which I'm fine with but it didn't 
So that that got it an extra little bonus from me as well. So it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to use these a little more, I think. So finally cracked into one of them. Planning on using the other colors that I got in future videos. So then I used that Harmony Snowflake little die set that came in the kit. And I die cut some of that matte silver cardstock. And then I just adhered them with little dabs of craft tacky glue. I just have them in a little precision glue bottle here and just those little tiny dots of glue. That's all you need. And adhered those onto both of these card fronts. Obviously, I'd let that splatter dry, which didn't take very long. And then adhered these little snowflakes. Once I've got those adhered onto both of these cards, I'm going to pop the sentiments into place with just some thin foam squares. So they've just got a little bit of dimension to them. So pop those into place, peeled off the backings, pop those onto my cards. Once these are in place, I'm, my final little bit of embellishment is those um, droplet stickers that came in the kit. I really like these iridescent ones because they're just pretty. All of them are pretty though. But anyway, use those. I just peel them off using my little um, die pick just works so press those into place onto both of these card fronts kind of stuck them into the centers of the snowflakes and then added a few more just as little random embellishments and then once I've got all of these into place on um, these cards that finishes them off so like I said in the intro I've got links to all the things the kit the subscription the everything individually etc etc that is all going to be listed in the description box below the video along with a link to my blog post in my blog post there's a visual supply list and the photos of the cards all the things a little easier to navigate so that'll be linked below as well and as always thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my videos for thumbs upping and commenting subscribe if you haven't i'd love to have you and i will see you all very soon in the next video bye